The year is 1983, and Lisebae wanted something faster, better, and more exciting than Baibanan and Lisebae's Lupen. Offers on a new roller coaster to the park had been sent from different manufacturers, and Lisebae had chosen one. But one day, a man with a hat knocked on the door of the headquarters of Lisebae. The man with the hat was carrying a blueprint under his arm. I am Mr. Anton Swartzkopf, and I have designed a roller coaster that I would like for you to look at. Lisebae took a look at the blueprint together with Anton. The day after, the CEO of Lisebae had to pick up the phone and call the other manufacturer to let them know. Vicoma Rides Manufacturing, how can I help you? We are sorry, but we have to let you know that we have decided to go on Anton Schwarzkopf's Whatever. design for a roller coaster to Lisebae instead of yours. Whatever. Thank you. Bye. One of the criteria for the new roller coaster was to save as many trees as possible up on the mountain. Only dead trees were allowed to be taken down. It almost worked. The rumor says that one tree that was alive had to be taken down. The rest was dead. Anton Schwarzkopf's roller coaster company had went bankrupt though. So Lisa Bergbanan is a design by Anton Schwarzkopf and manufactured by the right manufacturer, Sire. Lisa Bergbanan, Europe's biggest and longest roller coaster, is set to open in 1987. 1987. The construction of the roller coaster started in 1986 and the station building of Lisa Bergbanan themed to an old railway station was also going to be home to Järnvägsrestaurangen, or the railway restaurant. The park did not have space enough for the building, so they had to take down Bengtas Café, that had been open since 1924. The construction went along really well, and the track was ready way before the season opening of 1987. But during the first trial run, one of the trains valid and couldn't come back to the station. Since it was now winter 1986 and no way to take the train back to the station, Lisebae just built a tent around the train and left it there during the winter. When spring arrived they managed to get the train back to the station and drive wheels or drive motors was added on the track to prevent it from happening again. There is also a smaller diesel-powered locomotive that Lisebae can use to push back the trains to the station. The locomotive has an immense speed of 7 km per hour. At the beginning this train needed an operator, but can today be remote controlled from the station. Lisebae Bonan had its grand opening on 25 of April 1987. Two of the honorary persons to ride Lise Bergbanan first was, of course, Anton Schwarzkopf and Josef Sider. So many guests had arrived to the park to try out Lise Bergbanan that the park had to be open for an extra hour that day. Over 50,000 people attended the premiere and that was a record for a premiere at Lise Lise Bergbanan cost around 55 million crowns or 5.5 million euros. The speed is 80 km per hour. The track length is 1340 meters. The height is 45 meters and the length of the chain lift hill is 65 meters. Lise Bergbanan originally had 5 trains, 22 passengers per train which then gives us a capacity of 2,000 riders per hour, which is crazy good. But in the later years only four trains have been used, because there is no need to use a fifth train. Two years ago Lisebae bought brand new trains for Lisebae Bonan, but they look almost identical, so it's very hard to spot. This time Lisebae only bought four, 
and the ca capacity is almost the same anyway, so it doesn't matter. Liseberg Bonan had specially designed trains with a world first damper to reduce noise. The tracks of Liseberg Bonan is also sand filled to make it even more silent. This didn't stop residents nearby to complain about the noise, and Liseberg got until August the same year to fix it. This was resolved with softer wheels. Fun facts. Some fun facts about Liseberg Bonan. His Royal Highness, King Carl XVI Gustav, was invited to cut the ribbon on the premiere, but got holed up by something different and could not attend. Or maybe he just didn't dare. According to rumors, Liseberg Bonan was Anton Schwarzkopf's favorite roller coaster. Accidents. Amusement parks, in general, is a very safe place to be, and the safety standard of today's amusement rides and roller coasters is so high that it's almost impossible for an accident to happen. In the summer of 1987, two trains crashed inside the station after one of the trains failed to stop. Three people received minor injuries at the collision. The cause of the accident was that a film was formed on the brake pads. 15 of July 2006 Train number 2 was leaving the station. Partly up the chain lift hill it starts falling backwards and crashes into train number 5, which is unloading at the station. 21 people got injured, out of those 18 was hospitalized, but luckily no one with serious injuries. Problem number one. There was a chain lock that broke, which made the chain snap in two. You can see the chain lock here in this picture. Normally, the anti-rollback devices kick in here and stops the train. Liseberg Bonham doesn't have the usual anti-rollback used today, but the system instead uses anti-rollbacks on the sides of the chain tunnel. The function is exactly the same though. If you do not know what anti-rollback is, it is the iconic clicking sound most roller coasters make during the lift hill. To explain it better, I took some help from Coasterbot here on YouTube and he will now make a superb explanation for you. As the individual cars ascend the hill, the metal moves up and over the teeth. This movement is what produces the iconic clicking sound heard on roller coasters. In the event that the chain stops moving forwards, the cars will roll back onto the flat side of the teeth before coming to a stop. This prevents the entire train from accelerating back down the lift hill. This leads us to problem number two. Liseberg Bonan's anti-rollback system had been modified in 1988 to make the clicking noise more silent. Liseberg, together with the designer, calculated that some kind of plastic added to the anti-rollbacks would do the job, which it also successfully did. Since 1988, Liseberg Bonan was running flawlessly and passed every inspection. But on this day in 2006, it showed that the plastic on the anti-rollbacks was the second cause of the accident. One chain lock broke, the chain snapped in two and the anti-rollbacks did not work as intended. Should you be afraid of amusement rides or roller coasters then? No, not at all, the opposite. Accident happens absolutely, but they are rare and from every accident at amusement parks around the world we learn and create smarter and better systems, ride inspections and so forth. What the accident at Lisebay led to was a big safety job behind the gates. For example, one safety binder per attraction in the park, more inspections and more safety. Now years later the safety job is way better at all parks around the world. And the parks you visit today is safer tomorrow. Safety stops happens to prevent an accident and are therefore a confirmation that the ride or system works as intended. Lise Bybonan had a stop this summer on the lift hill and Lise Bay had to evacuate the guests through the catwalk next to the lift hill. This is a safety measure and nothing to be worried about. 
A modern roller coaster today has so many sensors and safety measures that it is an engineering marvel. Lisebergbanan is still one of the most ridden rides at Liseberg every year. Not only does it have new trains, but the whole facade of the station is new. Expect our classic Swatchcup to stay up on the mountain for many years to come. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I would love for you to leave a comment what you thought about the video in the comment section. And also, why don't you wish for the next video? Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Credits to coasterblog.se on Instagram for the pictures you have seen in this video and also for input and help on this particular ride.